All right, so today I have Miss KK Diamond, and yeah. she's um uh, entrepreneur. She's a, a artist, and she has some new stuff coming. She has a song um that just dropped, and she has some more stuff for you coming soon as well. Um, Miss Diamond, in the past, in the past two weeks from Christmas to New Year's. Uh, and be before and after, but man, Miss Diamond has been putting a lot of work in her city. Um, she's from pushing her song to performing and, and doing shows and rocking out. And man, Miss Diamond, I want to tell you, like, I appreciate you taking out the time of your day, even though you got a, a show in two hours, just to give me <laughs> to a doggone chance to have you on my show. Um, I also want to give a shout out to Miss Remy Davis because without her, I wouldn't have met you. Um, that's my girl. That's my dog. That's that's my, that's my dog for real. So yeah, Miss Diamond. Um, can you? I want to tell you thank you again, and can you please introduce yourself? Hi, I'm KK Diamond. You can follow me at k.k.diamond underscore or KK Diamond on go. I have two pages, so uh, you can click the link in any on any page in the bio and everything pops up to Spotify, to everything that you can find me on any platform. Songs dropping January 6th, Tonka Truck. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. January 6th, Tonka Truck. Oh, y'all be ready for it, cause she been man. The clubs love it right now. Really? All right, so Miss Dumb, before we start, I want to ask you, how is it performing at shows? It has been very fun. It's 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 new to me, but I love being on stage. I love being in front of the lights. I love being in front of people. I'm a I'm a person. I'm a friendly person. So I like you know, meeting new people and interacting with the crowd. It has been amazing so far to where I'm, I'm excited to know the next show. Like <laughs> booked up. I've been booked up since Christmas and I'm still booked up. So I'm ready. I'm trying, I'm trying to eat. I'm hungry. I want it. For I'm real. For real. All right, so, man, Miss Diamond, my next question for you is, all right, so you in Georgia right now. Shout out to Georgia. But yeah, you man. are from um, Florida. Um, so yeah, can you tell me, uh, the, what, some of the differences that you, <clears throat> between Florida and Georgia? Well, I'm from Miami, Florida. I'm in, I reside in Atlanta, but to me, Atlanta and Miami is no different. At right. All. <laughs> right. Music wise, I feel like they have more advantage because a lot of people come from out of Atlanta, but it, it's, it's a lot of people come from out of Miami too, Trick, Trina. You know, um, J Diva, um, Hood Brad, Sukiana. It's a lot of people that's out the Briscoe. Um, you know, I could go on and on for people that's in Miami, but it's kind of the same. Atlanta has a lot more platform for music, though. So that's why I moved from Miami to Atlanta to to get it rolling. You feel me? Yes, ma'am. Well, uh, Ms. Diamond, I just interviewed a uh, DJ in Miami. Her name is Ms. DJ Riri. Um, so yeah, if you're ever in Miami again, you want the DJ to get in contact with, please let me know. But yeah, I think uh, yeah, I did just look at that. For real, Miss yeah, Miss Real. Uh, do your thing, girl. <laughs> For real. All right, <clears throat> all right. So Miss Diamond, um, what are your plans for uh the next uh the rest of 2021 outside of uh January? Cause I know you booked all January, so yeah. Definitely trying to turn up all year. I said 2021 was mine. I'm going to own it. I'm going to claim it. I believe in the man above to know that I'm doing the right thing. I'm following my dreams, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to achieve it. So I'm working all year. I'm working with artists. I'm working with producers. I'm working with DJs. Anybody who want to do interviews, I'm working. Yeah, I'm working. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. All right, so Ms. Diamond, um, what's your Zodiac song? I'm a Capricorn. My birthday's December 26th. <laughs> yes, ma'am. So I bought Tonka Truck out on my birthday. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. 12 o'clock. Soon as that mother hit, they pouring me for real. Yeah, 12 o'clock hit. Oh, I was on stage like, huh, it's KK, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> for real. For real. I'm 21. I ain't playing. No, ma'am. Yeah. All right, so, Miss Diamond, if, may I ask you this? What's in your mouth? Because you're from Florida. <laughs> I got two slugs to the bottom. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of slugs. I always, yeah. 
I've always had these since I was probably about probably 14, maybe. <laughs> so I had my goals. My dentist did my goals, yeah. And they are still good and intact because yeah. they are real. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I keep my teeth up or whatever, so. For real, man. Hey, shout out Florida, man. Y'all got those yeah. love. It's two, you know, but I cut them in 20, 2008. You had dreads? I had dreads. What? That's... 2008. I had them all high school, all the way to 2008. After graduation, all of that, yeah. You weren't <laughs> playing. <laughs> That's what's up, man. All right, so I got to say this. Man, Miami, the reason why I, man, I got these little baby wigs now. <laughs> For real. I done combined in my dreams. In the states, you get what I'm saying? It's just what you can move and what you can do in that state. To me, Atlanta, I have to move around. Miami, too, because I'm from there. You get what I'm saying? But to see myself in another state and area is different. That means I have to really go for what I know because I don't really, I didn't, at first, didn't know that many people here. So that means I'm actually out here networking, you know? No lazy, nothing, no old, send me them, this person, connect me with this. No, I'm going to go connect myself. So I pull up. Pull up, gang strong. Yes, ma'am. All right, so Miss Diamond, who have been some people to help you along the way? Um, I want to thank Big C made this here. Big C is my producer. He's the one who made the beat and uh, helped me with Tonka Truck. So I really, really appreciate him. I appreciate Tony Boom. He never gave up on me. He's always been so loyal. That man been loyal since 2012, since I met him. Uh, Remy Davis, that girl is a beast. She can record, she can produce, she can make beats, she can rap, she can sing. She's dope. She introduced me to you, and I appreciate her for that. Um, I want to thank my mom. My mom is a beast. My mom shows me how to go get it. My mom always taught me to go get it. And she's on iHeartRadio, so I'm very proud of her. Um, all of my friends. I also want to thank Piped Up Shawty. Um, Piped Up Shawty. He has been booking me shows. He's been getting me booked. He's been having so much positivity come my way, and I really appreciate him. Um, DJ Ace, DJ Smirk, Flex Game Slim, DJ Mayberry, uh, DJ Slater. Uh, Man, look, I, I have a whole team, and I, I, I thank everybody, and that's on me. Everybody, <laughs> so I thank everybody that came my way. Um, I call him Plug. I can't remember his actual name, but I will tell him when 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 he see this who he was. <laughs> <laughs> that's what's up. Plug, that band there is dope. He's dope. He's dope. Hey, so I, I, I want to thank everybody, really, honestly. Oh, uh. DJ Outlaw, Chris, Chris, Chris. Gotta thank my bruh, Chris. He's always supporter, quality control, candid quality. That's what it is. Candid quality, Chris. I, I mess with him. I gotta get you some some merch, bruh. Gotta get you some merch. Who? His name is Ken. Well, his uh brand is Candid Quality. You talking about me? Chris. Yeah, you. Ooh, man, look, hey, man. Get me a hoodie. I'll wear that mug till it's thing. For real. Just tell me, send me the color you like, and I got you. Any color, it don't matter. It don't, okay. I don't care. So definitely gonna send one your way. Pull so it. I appreciate everybody who's actually Ooh. supporting me. Everybody, my day ones, everybody. Uh, you don't want me to get the name of them. It's too many, so y'all know that. So I don't want to hear nothing. But thank everybody. For real, yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am. All right, so Miss Diamond, on oh, my next question for you is, what's your favorite color? Oh, I love pink. I love black, brown, anything, well, any any bright color as well. So I, I love colors, period. I'm dark-skinned. All this melanin, you got to wear colors. You see the colors? I I love color. Yes, so. ma'am. Even down to the hair. Yeah, yeah. Color. color. For any real. Color. My hair is normally always blue. I'm going back to it. But I've been, you know, rocking the reds and the, the, the wine colors. Yeah. Got to change it up sometimes. That's cool. That's cool. All right. That's cool, man. That's cool. <clears throat> All right, so Ms. Diamond, my next question for you is, what's your five favorite foods? I'm greedy. We're going to start by saying that. 
I eat the hell out of seafood 24 7 and I love meat so I don't think I ever be a vegetarian I like meat mm -hmm. ribs chicken whatever I love coleslaw I love potato salad so I like soul food and see <laughs> yes ma'am that's cool that's cool um my next question for you is what are your five favorite restaurants mm, i'm not an outgoing person like as far as oh i'm going to this restaurant this restaurant i like longhorn i like um i cook all right so, <clears throat> I like food, so. yes ma'am like good food. I have chef friends. Shout out to Jay. Uh, they come. They'll come and cook for me. I got yeah. Personal <laughs> chef three hundred five. He make all the seafood. <sighs> Let's not talk about seafood because I want some. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. All right. So, Miss Diamond, if I ever came to Atlanta, Georgia, um, what are five foods that I need to try by you? Five foods you need to try by me cooking. Oh, I don't know. I make you a plate. You just tell me what you eat and I cook it. I, mean, I eat everything. I have a problem with trying new things. I eat everything. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and I like slutty vegan. You said restaurants. I do like slutty vegan. <laughs> Not vegan. That thing. Good. You ever had it? Nope. But everybody talk about it. Everybody talk about it. That lady a beast. Whatever she <laughs> She's a beast. For real. She's a beast. So you can try anything with me, whatever we in the mood to cook, you feel me? For real, it don't matter what you make, it all tastes good. I got a freezer and deep freezer and refrigerator full of food, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people, a lot of other people, that just went over everybody's head. <laughs> uh, yeah, got a, a whole kitchen full of food in pots, so I cook. Mm. All that restaurant stuff, I'm not, mm -mm. I ain't, uh, you can cook me some cooked food, let me see if you can get down in the kitchen. <laughs> make some noise about going to eat you me? but if i could cook it ain't no use of going to spend no unnecessary money that i can spend in my kitchen absolutely <clears throat> all right so miss diamond my next question for you is what five countries would you like to visit it's not necessarily no pinpoint of a country i want to go everywhere literally I haven't been on a plane in Lord knows how long. Oh, years. It's been years. Probably like 2012, 2011. My brother passed in 2013, so it was around 2013. So I haven't been anywhere. My mom used to work for Pan Am, so we used to go to Hawaii. We used to be all over, but see, I was younger. Now, I want to go everywhere. You hear me? And, you know, I, my family is Jamaican as well. So Jamaica was, you know, a spot. Hawaii was a spot. Different little stuff, but I don't mind going out of the country. You send me there, I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs> For real. That's cool. That's cool. Um, would you rather go into space or deep sea diving? I'd rather go deep sea diving. Why? Because it affects my fear. I'm not afraid of heights, so that's like, oh, okay, whatever. But me underwater? I'm from Florida. I can swim. But you put me in a, in a, just the middle of the ocean, I'm going to panic. So put me under the water, that, that'll be a challenge. <laughs> Deep sea diving for me. <laughs> <clears throat> for real, that's cool, that's cool. Um, What would you like to see underwater? A shark. <laughs> Straight up. I'm afraid of water, but I want to see a shark. Or a dolphin, or... Not nothing that'll sting me, like no, it, uh, what you call them? Jellyfish. Oh, uh, stingrays. Jellyfishes. Not nothing that'll hurt me or harm me. I know a shark probably eat, eat me, but, you know, just let me see it and I dip off. That'd be great. A, a dolphin, I ain't scared or whatever. So, yeah. I, <clears throat> I, I don't mind seeing a shark. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. Hey, if you ever do see a shark, just take a picture of it for me because I ain't going to be with you. No. <laughs> mm. I, I I seen, oh, look, it's a lot of things at Lake Lanier. I don't seen a lot of things. So, For real. I wasn't scared. It's more entertaining. Like, oh, look at that. Like, I love the aquarium. I'm one of those. Um, <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. Um, 
My next question for you is, what's your five favorite animals? I love dogs. I love cats. No, no, no. Let me take that back. I love dogs. I'm afraid of cats. Um, I like lions. I love giraffes and elephants. And I like dolphins. Is that an animal? Like, would you count yep. that as a dog or something like that? Mm-hmm. Okay, so that's in the same little wave. All right, well, I like dolphins. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. My next question for you is, um, what are your five favorite drinks? Uh, I like water. I love sodas. I like juice. Mm, I like like mo- uh, mocha, like coffee things or something like that from Starbucks or frappes from McDonald's. Uh, <laughs> I love orange juice. Orange juice with ice. If it don't have ice, I will not drink it. <laughs> Got that? I hope everybody. If you give me some orange juice without no ice, I'm not gonna drink it. No, it don't taste like hot milk. It's just my. Uh, I'm cool. It, it tastes so much better with ice. So much better. Mm-hmm. Oh. For real. Um. All right. So, Miss Diamond, my next question for you is: Do you like to go shopping? <laughs> I'm a woman. Uh, yes, I love shopping. Yes, yes, yeah, I can't wait to go on the shopping spree. Yes, I love shopping. Love it. And I don't take long like average women, you know. Oh, that takes so long. I know what I want. So, skipping the hop for me. I love it. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <clears throat> All right, so, um, Ms. Diamond, my next question for you is, what are your plans for the next five years and what are your plans for the next 10 years for both i plan to be up up. like me and my family and my team are eating no matter what we will be up so i plan on putting out some merchandise i plan on getting the online shopping going i plan on my music breaking being really famous by the end uh i plan on writing a book I, I'm interested in writing something about life itself and positivity and how not to give up. A lot of people gave up this year. I had a lot of friends I lost, a lot to suicide. So to me, I feel like a positive book would hurt. Somebody has to read it that actually feels what I'm saying, feel how I'm feeling. You get what I'm saying? So I think I'm thinking about putting out a book. Um, it's a lot of things to talk about nowadays. Yes, uh, ma'am. <clears throat> I just plan on going up, man. Any anything that I haven't done or anything that I want to do, I plan on traveling the world. I plan on doing everything that I could not do then, maybe. Or you get what I'm saying? Like moving <laughs> on it takes time to get where you want to be. So I plan on taking them steps, and I'm I'm with it to take them steps. So I'm ready for whatever come within five to ten years. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yeah. ma'am. Everything. <clears throat> yes, ma'am. Oh, me, you know I'm serious. For real. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get get it. I'm trying to get it. Yes, ma'am. Miss Diamond, um, can I help you write your book? Oh, sure, because I definitely will be asking friends and family about how they feel about certain situations in different chapters. So, yeah, I'm sure you can because... And I will give you your credit. Nah, um, all right. So I, all right. So one thing I want to do is like I want to. I I got I have two movies coming up that I'm making myself online movies though everything online, but yeah, two online movies. One is called <clears throat> one. One is for little kids and one is for like females, like just like my channel. So okay. yeah. Um. With that being said, those are movies I want to. I want to write my first book. I want to have somebody come on here just like this. Like, I'm not, I'm a recorder, but I ain't going to post it on here. But it's like, I want to have somebody come. I want you to come and join this call again. I mean, you just talk and I record it myself and don't post it. And then I write everything that you say down and then I put it together for you. Um, yeah, that's similar. That's for dope. real. For real. Yeah. So, yeah, Miss Diamond, um, whenever you, please, I, I don't know. I would love to help you write your book. That's all I'm going to say. I got you. I got you. For real. Um, all right, so, Ms. Diamond, my next question for you is, what is your message to... Nope. Do you have any talents? Uh, yes, I'm an artist. I also am a dancer. I'm an entertainer. A very great entertainer. Paul is life. 
So, um, that's definitely my talent. And uh, I'm a mommy, so that's definitely a, a talent because uh, not everybody can be that. So, uh, yeah, I played basketball. I was a cheerleader. Uh, I danced. Um, I have a lot of <laughs> Yes, ma'am. And you're a mother. That's a talent as well. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do anything I can just see and watch, and I'm gonna do it. That's cool. That's cool. Um, there's another. Do you know a lady named <clears throat> Miss Tisa Tierra? Tessa Tierra. Ah, oh, messed up. Tessa. Tierra. Yes, ma'am. Tessa yeah. Tierra. Mm -hmm. You know her. All right, I just interviewed her too. She's a dancer in Atlanta. So yeah, yeah. I, I seen that. Okay, yeah. okay. So if you ever want to get, I don't know. I'm about putting everybody in contact. Yo, she's so nice, man. She's so cool. Like y'all remind me, kind. Y'all remind me of each other. Y'all just so. Y'all so. I love, man. I don't know, man. Y'all just show me so much love, like, man. Everybody think dancers are just dancers. Like they just put us in this box. Like they're not dancers. Like they're not dancers. A lot of them have businesses. They have all kind of things that they're doing and all kind of things they're putting out. And we're not just dancers. We're actually business people as well. Like, we do things too. I don't know why people just put us in a bubble. And that's not who we are. We are really, we could, we coming on to, to tell me what dancer not coming up. Cardi B was a dancer. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. And that motherfucker loaded. You hear me? Okay, okay. Man, right now the dancers making some of the most money in America. Mm -hmm. But yeah, mm -hmm. um, Born Fly got her little business going. Uh, Born Fly. I don't know if you've seen her clothesline. Mm -hmm. A lot of men wear. She used to be with uh Floyd Mayweather. She got a little uh, she got motion going on with her. You know, dancers are doing things. I, mm -hmm. I'm not gonna cap. We we are on the movement. We're not just dancing. It's not just. For a couple dollars, no, we're saving. We're putting in interest. We're building, uh, making businesses. We're doing this. We're doing that. We building for the community. We go out there and help the homeless. We do all kind of things. Everybody, everything don't have to be recorded. We do it. <clears throat> Absolutely. Shout out to all the dancers too. Y'all don't get enough credit. But yeah, um, Miss Diamond, my next question for you is: What is your message to the women of the future? Whew. This has been a crazy, well, 2020 was a crazy year to where everybody had to really honestly find themselves. So to me, I would tell all women to stay focused, all little girls to stay focused, continue to read. Reading is fundamental. Um, you can't go wrong with asking questions. Uh, never be afraid to open up. Never be afraid to talk to people. Never be afraid to be you. Like, be yourself and never change. Don't think you have to be somebody else to be in this position. Because if you be yourself, you will eventually float your way to the top, baby. It, it, it Just stay focused, stay humble, and follow your dreams. You have to follow your dreams. I've been wanting this since I was young, and I'm, I'm finally on getting there. So if you follow what you have and focus on yourself and focus on others around you. Positivity is everything. Neg neg negativity, just wash that out your way. And don't let what somebody else tell you affect how you feel about somebody or anything that you want to do in life. So <clears throat> focus, stay positive, and follow your dreams. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Ms. Dahmer, my yeah. next question for you is... <clears throat> What would you tell your future self 20 years from now? That I'm proud of that person. I'm, I'm very proud of myself. I would tell myself how, how proud I am uh, to just be doing me. Like It took me a while to focus on me. I was maybe trying to find myself, figure out what I actually wanted to do. Do I want to go full force with dance? Do I actually want to continue with music? I've been doing music since 16. So for me to actually be performing, it's like amazing. So I would tell myself that I'm very, very proud of myself. 20 years from now, we're going to be on top. No worries. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <clears throat> Positivity. Just, I just got to stay focused. Positivity. 
keep positive people around you, you're going to grow. You're going to glow. Absolutely. Oh, Ms. Dahmer, my next question for you is, what would you like to tell your children 20 years from now? 20 years from now, I see them already. I'm a dance mom. So uh, my kids dance for an actual group that's known and stuff like that, Atlanta Lit Squad. Um, so I have them focusing on their dreams as well. I have one want to run track one dance, uh, basketball players, soccer player. So I, you know, I'm staying focused with that. So I want them to follow their dreams 100%. Before me, it was them. So I have to focus on them. I put them into what they want, and then I focused on me. So I would tell them to follow their dreams, continue what they're doing, making sure they graduate, go to Spelman or some, you know. <laughs> Do their thing. Be doctors, be lawyers, do what you want to do. Which whatever you want to do, I'm gonna support you. Period. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <clears throat> My next question for you is, okay, I was gonna, I ain't gonna ask you that one. Um, my next question. No, it was a shout out. She said you ain't wanna. Yeah, you said you ain't wanna miss nobody out. So you just gonna say shout out everybody. That's my fault. <clears throat> oh, I can say we were gonna flow with it. I know. I, oh yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> so if you want me to give a shout out, you know I'm gonna give a shout out to my day ones, Pipe Them Shawty, Key D, um, CP, Nick, uh, Addy, TD, Egypt. Shay, my motherfucking dog, Shay, uh, big girl, <laughs> honey, I wanted my whole Instagram page, because my folks are real followers, so I, I, 100% loyal to them, because they always, always, always have been supporting me, so I can give a shout out to everybody, Chris, uh, Flavor the Bartender, who I put in my song. Uh, tell Flavor, bring someone so I can tip that ass, sis. Flavor, <laughs> shout out to Flavor, pull up that Dre. Everybody. I, my mom, my kids, uh, everybody who's been supporting me, man. Uh, everybody. Everybody. You, everybody. <laughs> Dang. I know everybody. You hear me? For real. All right, so, Ms. Diamond, my next question for you is. Well, shoot, you done spit. Can you can you rap your song for me? <laughs> rap my song. Walk up in the club, yeah, they break their neck for me. <laughs> hold on, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. I'm my money, 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 and I keep the racks on me. Uh, big booty strippers come and throw that ass on me. Big booty Judy, little booty Keisha, big booty Lisa, little booty Tina. Can't forget Felicia or oh, sister Gina. They be turning up. I'm about to break the meter. All oh, 2021. You feel me? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you did. Yeah, it's up and stuck. You hear me? <laughs> for real. I weren't even ready. I'm <laughs> for real. I'm on it. You hear me? I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Yes, man. It's that fire truck. That fire truck. truck, the big thing. Tonka truck, big things. Them seven things that's yellow. This big Tonka truck. Wait till, you see, wait till I shoot the video. I got Tonka truck. Too. I know you do. <laughs> and all the women. <laughs> I know you got Tonka. Yo, I have so many people like, bro, you better not let me miss that video shoot. Yeah. It's going up. <laughs> it's going up. So whoever didn't believe in me, huh? I'm telling you, you better jump on this way before I start acting sadiddy on you. You feel me? What I tell you earlier, I'm glad I met you. Now I'm gonna read you. Straight up. I'm real, bro. I'm, I'm such a real person. I'm real. For real, hey, I rock with you. Hey, so my fault, not fire truck, Tonka truck. My fault, I apologize. Big old Tonka truck. All right, so, Miss Diamond, my next question for you is. What would you like people to know about you before they go to your Instagram page? Uh, to know about me? I am a fun person. Uh, I'm very positive. I post funny clips. I like funny stuff. Uh, not really much to know. I'm an entertainer. I'm a dancer. I'm an artist. I'm 
my mother. Like, you'll see it all on my page. I don't hide any of that. Like, I've had so many people say, oh, you might need to change your page around and just do professional photos, this and this and that. No, I'm going to keep it to me because this is me. Why would I have to change for you? I get the business part. That's what my music page is for. But my main page, I'm going to post what I want to post. How many followers or not, I'm going to post what I want to post. So you can understand me. Like, this is the real me. It's no faking nothing. So that's just me. I'm not faking nothing. I don't care. I'm not changing nothing around. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Miss so you'll see my page. It's me. <laughs> for real. Miss Diamond, my next question for you is... <clears throat> What did your parents teach you as a child that you were trying to teach your children now? To never give up. Always follow your dreams, stay positive, and always open up. You never know who you're talking to. You never know what you need to say. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I need something to say and I'm just building it in, building it in, building it in, that caused depression, that caused anything, that caused where I feel like I can't open up around people, I can't look people in their eyes. Look them in their eyes. Follow what you're doing. Just focus. You get what I'm saying? Be proud of who you are. That's what. <clears throat> yeah. Follow your dreams. Follow your dreams, kids. I can't preach that enough. Follow your dreams. Nobody can tell you what you could do because you can do it. There's no can'ts. There's no ifs, ands, buts. You can do it. So there is no, oh, I can't do that. She could do it better than me. No, you can do it too. You just apply yourself and you'll be, you'll be fine. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. How do you feel women are represented in the world? Take your time. If you want to skip, we can skip. Um, I, I really honestly wish we could go back to the Eve and the Missy Elliott and the Leah and the, you know, back in the days, look him and all that. Their mu their music was a lot different than now. It's the only thing they they focus on is money, clothes, drugs, this, sex, blah blah blah. When it's a lot more to music than just that. You get what I'm saying? It's a lot more that we can tell these kids that's on TikTok listening to our music. All the wrong things sometimes. Every every not every song is positive. So. It's more things that we can tell kids in our music than just sex or buying breasts or being somebody you're not or makeup. And sometimes you can be natural. It's okay to be natural. If we want on this thing, I'll snatch this thing off and show you it. You could just be natural. You get what I'm saying? Like, be natural. Be yourself. That's, yeah. So with the music nowadays, it's just for a bop to me. You got a, a hard <clears throat> beat, it's a bop. Instead of more lyrical, more wording, more positive things. Make a positive song. Talk about the future. Talk about reading. Talk about, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Somehow, you can put it in the song and you can make it to where it makes sense. You feel me? So, <laughs> I just think the music could be a lot better. Yes, yeah. ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <clears throat> My next question for you is, all right, so do you believe police brutality is real or do you think it's made up? It's very real. Um, my mom is really close friends and I grew up around them young to uh, Sabrina Fulton, Trayvon's mom. I know you know who Trayvon Martin is, right? I know Miss Fulton. So that wasn't police brutality, but to me, they let Zimmerman just get off. So to me, he's working with the police, so that's police brutality to me. But as far as, like, all these killings, all these shootings, all this that's going on, yes, they just beat a man for being in a Lyft driver in Atlanta. In the backseat of a Lyft driver uh, car, a Lyft little car or whatever. You know, I don't take Uber and Lyft and all that stuff. But he was in the car with his family and his mom and his wife. And it, he got pulled over or an accident. Not him, the driver. And the police did not focus on the, the driver at all. They got out, made this man, beat him in front of his kids and wife. All for nothing. Because he didn't have to show no ID. And they kept asking him for ID. You don't have to show no... I'm a backseat driver. What you need my ID for? 
I'm not driving. So I really honestly think that's, it's horrible. It's very sad. And it's, uh, it's been going on for years. I haven't seen a change. Uh, I haven't seen a change. As much as old oh, black power, black blah, 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 police brutality, they know. They know what they're doing, and this is something that's going to always go on. I don't see, I know I get about a lot of backlash, but baby, uh, this has been going on since I was before I was born, before my mama was born, before my grandma was born. So I don't want to hear that. If y'all wanted to change something, it would have been changed. So that's just how I feel about it. <clears throat> yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. All right, so Miss Diamond, my next question for you is: Can you send a positive message to the negative members of law enforcement on treating us better or equally, treating us equally? Uh, really, I don't have to say much because they know right from wrong. I watch a lot of Netflix shows. <laughs> I'm not gonna cap, and I've seen bad cops and I've seen good cops. So you can't. You can't really, I can't really force it and say, oh, I need y'all to do better, this and that, because it's not every cop. You get what I'm saying? Absolutely. But they better with how they treat black people. Because I've seen videos with white folks, and they can scream, they can point a knife at the, the officer, they can do this, they can do that, charge at the officer, and they don't do anything. They got Breonna Taylor, and she was asleep at home, and they just bust in her uh, house. And, and kill this lady. Like, it's a difference when it comes to black and white. It really is. And it's very sad because we are equal. It's nothing that she can't do that I can't do. So, to me, we're equal, baby. You, you can't do nothing that I can't do. So, what makes you so privileged? Like, that, that, that's a deep conversation. I just want them to do a lot better with how they treat us because we are not all the same. And so, if we feel like all cops are not the same, you should feel like all black people are not the same. They really honestly need to focus on mental mental health as well because some of these people that they kill have things going on. It, look at the world right now. Like, you don't know who's depressed and who's stressed and what's, who's going through what. So you need to treat all situations with care because you don't know what people are going through. I can have a mental breakdown right now. An officer come here and probably kill me because of the simple fact of how I'm acting instead of sitting down, trying to calm me down, not tasing me, trying to kill me, shooting through the door and like they don't it's like they don't ask us questions but they ask them a million so that's not fair to me uh that was a great answer <laughs> that was a great answer um my next question for you is can you send a positive message to our brothers and our sisters on coming together on who coming together our brothers and to us and our sisters Take your time. Together is one. Because if every other state can do that, why the hell United States can't? Why can't we get along? Why can't we be together? You go to these other countries, they're together. You're not seeing all that. Some countries are crazy as hell now. Don't get me wrong. They got a lot of other things that they, how they deal with their country. But here in the United States, for it to be so many people here, we should not have. We should not be going through this. All our brothers and sisters need to get along. We need to build each other up, not down. We need to build each other, not break them. Oh, just because you got some expensive shoes on and your partner over here looking like dirt, why not take him with you? Why not build him up? Why not? Oh, because oh, this just for you, or is it for your team, you and your team, and you and your brothers, you and your sisters, building others up? Like when I go up. Everybody, not just people who are already helping me on the way up. People who I see is in need of things. You get what I'm saying? I'm going to put them in the position to win. That's what we should do. But everybody, it's like everybody in competition. And we should not be in competition because who are you? Like, just just like money raised you and money did this for you, it can do for the next person. You could build a, a homeless person up right now. All they need is a little money and guidance. So why can't we... Focus on building, man. Everybody is like a part, and that's it's so weird to me. Like, how did y'all say Black Lives Matter and helping this and oh, da, 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 but y'all don't even want to help? You get what I'm saying? Like, mm, that's a weird that that's mm, that's far beyond this interview. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. My second to last question for you is Can you send a positive message to our black women around the world? 
remedies right too. Perfect, man. These the are back to back. To certain things, but what's the question again? Can you send a positive message to our black women around the world? Oh, I feel like our black women are. <laughs> They're doing their things. I'm seeing doctors. I'm seeing lawyers. I'm seeing entrepreneurs. I'm I'm seeing a lot. So I'm really proud of our upcoming women. They're doing their thing. They're staying positive. They're becoming millionaires. It's not just men that can do this. It is definitely women that can do this. Because, you know, women rule the world or whatever. Beyonce, I already told y'all this. Like, period. <laughs> <clears throat> yes, ma'am. Just stay positive and focus, man. Yes, ma'am. Ms. K.K. Diamond, my last question for you is, what would you do if you were the president? <laughs> you don't want to ask me that. Because I want to make sure everybody is doing what they need to be doing. See, it's a lot of stuff in, in presidencies that we don't know about, and it's a lot that we don't see. So I can't really ask that question because I don't really follow that little way. They do what they do. I'm just in the world. You get what I'm saying? Like, I'm. it's not like my one little vote going to change anything. Trust me, it's not. Because all these people went out and voted, and they still voting. Like, I'm confused. <laughs> the man not even in the, in, the, in the chair yet. Like, how is Trump still demanding things if we got a president? Like, do we got a president or not? Like, I don't know what's going on. So if I was the president, I'd make, the, make sure things are going a little bit more smoother. Like, we have to get along with the other countries. Like, we're not... Why are we so angry with them? What did they do to us? Like, oh, that, that's a whole nother topic, too. If I was the president, we'll be positive around this bitch. <laughs> you got my vote, dog. <laughs> nah, for real. For real. <clears throat> All right, so, Miss K.K. Diamond. My last question for you is, is there anything that I didn't ask you or anything that we didn't talk about that you would like to say? I just want to let y'all know that Tucker Truck will be dropping January 6th. All links are in my bio. Follow me at k.k.diamond underscore. And I am on the way to, to the top. You want to work? Shoot me a DM. Shoot me an email. I'm ready to work. Ain't no, oh, you got this amount of followers, this amount of followers. I don't care about none of that. Whoever want to work, whoever trying to get their business popping, whoever trying to do this, you want me to promote something. I ain't asking for no money. I, I just, if you can shoot me something, this, that's genuine. But, baby, I'm real humble. I'm real real. And if you're trying to get something out there, I got you. Like, I don't know why people don't help each other. I can't focus so much on that. But... I'm here to express the love. I'm here to share that bitch. I'm just willing to help. I'm here. So if, you, if I ain't say nothing inside this interview, it's to follow me right now. Because when I go up, I'm up. Follow me right now. You hear me? Right now. All right. So, Miss KK Diamond, thank you so much for coming on my show. No problem. <laughs>